We're here with the Bulldogs, Josh Jackson. Josh, big honour for you today? Yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, good for the NRL to, to recognise players, you know, academic achievements. And um, I think it sort of stresses the importance of, uh, you know, doing something so you've got something sort of behind you for after you finish your career. Um, you've, you know, achieved a lot of things in the last two years. You played in the grand final last year. You're only 22. You've got a lot ahead of you. Where does this rate so far in your career? Yeah, it's up there, you know. I guess it, it's something different. It's not, not something that's sort of usually... Uh, associated with rugby league academics but um, you know like I said before it's good to, to sort of be recognised for that and it's good for the community to see that you're not just a, a meathead football, football player I guess yeah. So you've been studying part-time since 2009 you've told me, um, tell us how difficult that's been trying to uh, get the balance between footy and, and study. Yeah since I started full-time training it, it's been pretty hard to sort of you know balance the, the commitments between training and, and study but I guess it's just about being organised and um, you know, I think it's good as well to, to sort of have a balance between uh, training and, and, and studying as well. Uh, sort of get your mind away from rugby league and, and sort of helps with your rugby league as well. Do you find that's the mentality of your fellow players and, and even your club now? Yeah, I think the NRL puts a pretty big stress on, on that now, you know, particularly for younger players in the under 20s. I think, you know, you either have to be working or, or studying to be able to play. So I think the, that, that's a great initiative and I think um, it's sort of filtering through the NRL slowly as well. I guess with your career it's kind of aiding in your education as well because your education um, relates to sport and, and you're doing sports science? Yeah definitely, you know I'd, I'd love to stay um, in rugby league in and around the game after I finish, you know that's sort of the goal I guess to to sort of once I finish you know maybe get a job in, in amongst rugby league somewhere that'd be, that'd be you know perfect. Do you find yourself pretty self-driven when it comes to learning and that kind of thing or do you need the support of people around you to help out? Uh, yeah, a bit of both I guess, you know, it's always good to have, you know, support and I, I guess uh, as the, at the Bulldogs, you know, we get a lot of support from, from people, you know, they're pretty flexible with uh, if you need to do, you know, an exam or need to do some work, they're always flexible and always, you know, there to give you time off. But um, uh, the NRL as well, you know, they're great, they, they provide assistance, you know, financially and, and anything you want pretty much, so yeah, it, it helps a lot. Your family, I'm sure they'd be proud at this achievement today? Yeah, definitely. You know, they're always proud of, of all my achievements, you know, rugby league and academic wise. So, yeah, definitely. So, where to for you, maybe post football, even though you're probably not going to be thinking that f about that for a few more years? Yeah, well, you never know, but hopefully it's a, it's a little way um, up the track. But, um, you know, like I said before, hopefully I'll be able to stay around rugby league somewhere, maybe pick up a job as a, as a trainer or, or something like that. But um, anything to do with rugby league would be great. Well, congratulations and best of luck. Thank you.